All right, guys, so I'm here on a heat check. Um, problem was the thermostat would call for heat and um, the furnace would not ignite. It would try, but uh, would not ignite. So um, I thought it might have been a um, flame sensor issue, but it wasn't, which you can see the flame sensor down there. Um, then I could see the igniter, which I think has a seven or nine second warm up time, but um, I wasn't smelling any gas. I did uh, bypass it and uh, put 24 volts to the gas valve. So I, I, I know the gas valve is good. We were able to uh, get the gas on, but uh, I came down here on the circuit board and you can see all the discoloration, probably overheating over time. And I checked for 24 volts uh, going to my Molex plug, but to the gas valve, it is, looks like this blue one and this brown one here, which I wasn't getting 24 volts. And that's right here. So, because I wasn't getting 24 volts, of course the gas valve is not going to open up and the hot surface igniter is going to try to relight. And after several attempts, it just locks the furnace out. You'll get a little code here on the circuit board itself and um, it'll say, you know, after so many retries, it's on a lockout. So, I got the new board here. So we're gonna put this in and uh, fire it up and get some heat on. The heat right now, oh, I'm sorry, the temperature inside the house is uh, around 51, 55, somewhere around there. So it's pretty cold in here. Um, and once we get the furnace fired up, we'll go ahead and check it out. Let's see what the world looks like. Oh yeah. And let's see, serial number. So it's, it's not that old. Um, we'll get this checked out. And um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, start taking this apart. And uh, I didn't see anything on the back backside um, of the circuit board, but let's go ahead and start taking this apart. Um, best thing to do is either take a picture, follow schematics, or um, just take off Watt one wire each at a time and start plugging it in, and uh, that way we know when where everything goes. So let me go ahead and push uh, pause here and come back to it. Okay, pretty much got all the wires off. Molex plug. Last thing I'm going to do is the thermostat wire. But as you can see, it's already mounted on there this is the molex it only plugs in a certain way so go ahead snap that in there make sure everything is on there tight or snug make sure we put all the the line voltage transformer uh, the speed taps so all we gotta do is Remove these. So we got common. This, which looks like it might have been, might have been green at one point. The Y W and R. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right. So I got everything hooked up. Got my meter here, so we can check for voltage on the gas valve. And now the moment of truth. Okay, 
reducer just kicked on. We're calling for heat. Relay just kicked in. See the hot surface igniter. Got gas. So see, that's what we want to see. We got close to 28 volts um, for the gas valve over right here.